Uh, meanwhile, of course, England taking on the US on Black Friday, Jules. And part of our master plan is not to let Christian Pulisic play, if you believe some people on Twitter from an American perspective. Uh, looking at it, he's done. He's stuck at Chelsea. Eh? They're not going to let him go out on loan. I don't think they really have an offer for him, Dan. And we've said many times on the show, if he can, he should go. He should go and, and play more and enjoy his football a bit more. He's not happy. We saw that again. Uh, at Southampton on Tuesday night where he walked off the pitch without mm. going to, to, um, to clap the fans like the rest of the team. He was not happy, I think, to be a sub. He was not happy and should not have been happy by the comments that Thomas Tuchel made on Monday saying basically there's no competition in these squads. If you're Christian Pulisic, this is, not, this is not good for you. You can't be happy with that. So I can understand why he's not happy. However, if there's, there's no offer for you, not, no one is coming for you, then you have to stay and fight for your place. Right now, he's not in the state of mind to be fighting for his place. And again, this is not good for, for anyone. It's not good for him, not good for Chelsea either. It's turning into a nightmare, Stevie. Well, listen, I think it's, it seems to me that he's, he's waiting a bit long to get away. As soon as Raheem Sterling was signed, or as soon as there was noise that Raheem Sterling was coming to Chelsea, if I'm him, I'm, I'm on the phone to my agent and get me out of here. Because that's where he is. I think his best position is coming off the left. And so when you're signing a guy whose best position is coming off the left, guess what? So I think Christian and his advisors should have moved there a little earlier. Right. It seems like they haven't. If they have, then I'm sorry, but his agents, his agents haven't, haven't done a good job for him. Put it that way. Do you agree, Craig? Well, I'm wondering if that was his agents touting about the stuff we saw a week or two ago about Man United, which doesn't seem to have reared its head, and it was a bit of a head-scratcher as well at the yeah. time. But, yeah, no, I've said for a long time he, he needs to go and play. He's, he's not going to... There's no point in him people saying, oh, he's going to go to last year. Oh, Liverpool are interested. Oh, this team... He needs to get away from this, going to these teams that are challenging for that those elite positions. Where's his level? Which team would you say is, is about where he should be he should be playing? I'm think I am thinking like a Newcastle, right? A West Ham. Okay. We saw Jesse Lingard go in there last right. year and do a terrific job. They've just signed Paqueta, who's a terrific player. Jules was touching him earlier in the show. Uh, somewhere I'm I'm scratching my head. I mean you don't want to be going somewhere with all respect like Southampton who's who have had some great results. Yeah. But they're a selling club. I don't know, Stevie. I mean, I, I, I never, when Everton are in a better position than they are, that kind of club. It's difficult I mean. to put your finger on it because he's never had an actual run of games where you could say, right, this, th this is where he is. Right. So we don't really know. You know, he's not had 10 games straight where he's got some form together and you can go, right, this guy deserves to be at Chelsea or this guy deserves to be at Southampton, whatever. You don't, we don't really know because we haven't seen a consistent run of form. We know what he can do at his best, but unfortunately we also know that he, he gets injured quite a bit. I, so I think it's, somewhere it's like... To, it's tough to pick it. I think a team like, you know, when they were on the up, like Leicester City, for me, somewhere perfectly at him with a manager who sometimes plays on the counter-attack. Yeah. They've got people like Harvey Barnes, who's quite... Iose Io, Perez, all these other guys that come in. Uh, what's his name? It came in from Villa. Puts the ball in the box, the younger the lad. I can't remember his name. He's been there a while. You know, run up and down the wing. Uh, that, that kind of thing, I think, would be a perfect standard for him. Right. Uh, where he's probably, got, he's probably going to play 90% of the games, if not more. When you're moving to these clubs at the top end of these leagues, the chances for him of getting reg regular game time are diminished a lot. Well, of course, it will be revealed uh, on Thursday as to whether or not he will remain a Chelsea player. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.